is a Pythagorean theorem, but it has a huge problem because it only works with right triangles like this one, and that could be really inconvenient when you're dealing with non-right triangles. But there's a better version of the Pythagorean theorem, and it's called the law of cosine. And unlike the Pythagorean theorem, which you could only use for right angled triangles, you could use this for any angled triangle. Now, here's an example of how we could actually use it. So this triangle has an angle of 87 degrees, which means we can't use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have to use the law of cosines to find this side. So let's label this side A and this side B. Great, so now we have our A and B measurements. Now, all we have to do is plug it into the equation. So I'm gonna write C squared equals to 12 squared plus nine squared minus two AB times the cosine of theta. Now, what do I mean by theta? Well, theta is just the measurement of this angle. So we could just keep on plugging it in. So now all we have to do is the math. So we know that 12 squared is 144. And we know that nine squared is 81. Now, acknowledging that we don't know the cosine of 87 yet, but we're gonna go check that in our calculator just a little bit. We're gonna multiply these three out. So two times 12, that's 24. 24 times nine is 216. Now, using our PEMDAS, this turns into this, 225 minus 216 times the cosine of 87. Now, to get rid of this square on the C, which is what we're trying to solve for, this side C, we have to square root both sides. And now, all we have to do is input this into a calculator, which I'm going to go do real quick. So my calculator is telling me that it's 14.618325262, but we don't need all those digits. We just need the first two digits. So it would round up to 14.62, and that is the length for side C. God bless.